If women are oppressed by washing dishes, men are oppressed by taking out the garbage. If women are oppressed by deadbeat dads, men are oppressed by mooching moms. If women are oppressed by living longer than men, men are oppressed by dying younger than women. If women are oppressed by too few job opportunities, men are oppressed by too few love opportunities. If girls are oppressed by too little positive attention from teachers, boys are oppressed by too much negative attention from teachers. If women are oppressed by too much sexual attention, men are oppressed by too little sexual attention. If American women are oppressed by women who are victims of female genital mutilation in other countries, American men are oppressed by being victims of male genital mutilation right here in America. If women are oppressed by a male-dominated military-industrial complex, men are oppressed by a female-dominated office complex, a female-dominated public school complex, and a female-dominated welfare complex. If girls are oppressed by boisterous boys, boys are oppressed by gabby girls. If women are oppressed by too much male initiative, men are oppressed by too little female initiative. If women are oppressed by the beauty myth, men are oppressed by the ugly myth, and the creepy myth, and the rapey myth. But I digress. If women are oppressed by too much love, men are oppressed by too much hate. If women are oppressed by misogyny, men are oppressed by misandry. If women are oppressed by earning too little money, men are oppressed by spending too little money. If women are oppressed by primetime TV, men are oppressed by daytime TV. If women are oppressed by male white-collar criminals, men are oppressed by the women behind male white-collar criminals. If women are oppressed by violent men, men are oppressed by the women who sleep with violent men and with by violent women too. If women are oppressed by male-dominated hierarchies, men are oppressed by female-dominated cliques. If women are oppressed by the Super Bowl, men are oppressed by the Miss Universe pageant. For the Backlash at Backlash.com, my name is Rod Van Mecklen.